What's up, what's up, everyone? Good evening. Good evening. We're rolling with a bit of a late stream once more. A late stream. Hello. What is up? What is up? We're playing on main account, 1150 uh, LP. Yesterday we got what? Plus three? Plus three wins yesterday, so pretty good. We'll see what we can uh, pull off now. Tumbriel Chirima, hello, hello. Hello, YouTube, what up? Good evening. Good evening, Mikita. Let's get it. Let's get some dubs. A bit unorthodox timing of the stream, but we're trying it out, you know? So yeah, what's up, what's up, Velko, Senteku? Another day of a league. How beautiful. I love days of league. Days of league are my favorite days.
Is only YouTube stream? Uh, we're streaming on Twitch as well. We are on Twitch as well. We are YouTubing. Okay, let's hope, hope uh, we get games fast, you know. We need to get some uh, good games in. So, yeah. The day before, we got 1 and 3, which is bad. That's minus 2 games, despite playing really well. Ace disparity combo. Yesterday, we got 4 and 1, which is significantly better. 80% win rate. So, we still ended up positive after those two days, despite having somewhat dubious luck, you know. But yeah, we're very high win rate for this ELO. Rank 37 right now. Let's keep going. Good evening, Stepan. Good evening, man. Let's get this bread. I've already had my daily bread. I'm good. Now we can just get extra bread for tomorrow, you know? Bread today has been achieved already. We're looking good. Let's go. Yeah, I don't think the queue time is going to be that long. This should be prime time for, for a gamers, right? Thursday... Once again, congrats for the 100k subs. Really good achievement. Thank you. It, it is a crazy achievement. Never would have thought we'd get this. Never. 12 hour queue incoming. Nah, 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 nah. We got this. We got this, guys. Okay. Wait a second. Konovar! Konovar with a prime game and first time subbing, yo. Welcome to the Squid Squid, man. Appreciate it. Cheers, brother. Let's go. Hello, Brenzalore. What is up? You gonna stream tomorrow's stream at 12 p.m.? Yeah, probably is. Very likely. What the fuck is this draft? They got Vagar. We're getting top Teemo. And we got Volka support. Three troll picks. High elo gaming. Everyone getting monster troll picks. Report them all. Yeah, IQ chart meme, yeah, yeah. Drafting uh, whatever the fuck you want, and then it's like, no, there's an optimal way to play League of Legends, you should draft this, and then you have, like, the challenger players, like, drafting whatever the fuck you want, you know? <laughs> That's basically how it is. Okay, getting Wooly Bear before the nerfs. Vagar botlane, I'm assuming, with Nautilus. Zeri probably should go cleanse, otherwise she's gonna be useless. Harm so fade in Timo? Me too.
I mean, Teemo in 1000 LP plus can only be Allen, I think. I don't think anyone else could play Teemo at this ELO, so... I'm guessing that's him. I'm guessing that's gonna be him. I'm from Boston, there's a good winner. Well, there's the game. First game, first lobby, instantly got in. Honestly, kind of crazy. Okay. I think we got a good jungler. He didn't go BMO. No BMO is criminal. Imagine not going BMO. Top cringe inflator role, guys. Everyone knows that. Wait, a zap is the Wilkes in the uh, challenge 1000 plus LP? No way? Crazy, right? Surprise, surprise. Okay, our draft sucks balls. Uh, we don't have cleanse on Zyra. They're a very annoying combo, but we'll see. Yeah, we should be able to push faster. What's the matter, Gabos, what up? Losing your grip. I haven't played ranked much this season, but I hit sixth best Vel Midnar with 60% last season. Are you proud of me, Dad? I'm proud of you. Let's fucking go. Thanks half a year, Gabos. Appreciate it. Much appreciated. I'm very, very proud of you. Awesome. Man, I wish Nodles hooked something there. Hello, Phantom. I believe in Teemo abusing this matchup. Alan is Alan, right? Yeah. I mean, we're getting somewhat free lane. Found a massive opportunity there. Why are they face checking this? Why would enemies face check this? Oh, what? That was so obvious that it's a counter. They grief that shit so hard. Ah, oh, he slid! He slid away from my Q. My Q was gonna be perfect, man. He slid away from it. Fucking slittering. Ah. Unfortunate troll by, uh... Volibear. Wasting flash to die there. Giving enemies recovery when they were so doomed. Vagar's got TP. Oh. An enemy has 
Okay, wait a second. Awesome. Hello, Frenzy Flood. What up? Hopefully, Wooly Bear doesn't die again. Should be fine, right? I gotta catch experience here. I'm not Roman. Need desperately experience. Okay, cool. Yamato ya! Yamato yo! Yamato Yamato yo! Yamato yo! Nine? Thank you for the tier one. Fucking hell. Appreciate it. First time subbing. Welcome to the Squid Squad, my friend. Awesome. Yeah, that was a big mistake, buddy. <laughs> big mistake. You guys can't beat us in an all-out fight. Even level 6, we have better burst than you. You can only beat us with like a pick-off into jungle. We lose the plate money. Okay. Did he flash? No. Hello, Blue Jeep. Appreciate all the stuff with the entire FF culture. Thanks, man. Thanks, buddy. Oh, I think this is good, right? Very good, decisive flash. I respect that. Nah, man. I was so fucking close. I was so fucking close there. Suboptimal engagement here. I don't mind tanking here, they can't kill me. Yep. <laughs> oh my god. Such an easy bait. I know they can't kill me, I didn't have enough damage. My heal is coming up as well. I just have to make them focus me instead of Zeri. And uh, the whole. Sequence goes completely differently. So nice. Well, we're starting with four kills on Zeri. That's uh definitely a beneficial lane for us. They will still be useful, both of them, because they're CC bots. So we can still lose this game easily. Usually in high elo this is GG, but it's very easily throwable because they have very good pick comp, right? <sighs> Bro, so the more you grow your goatee, the better you play Vulcans. <laughs> could be, could be, I don't know. Never really uh, conducted a scientific test. You know, double blind study, all of that. All the jazz. I'm so close to level up. Yeah. Holy shit. I'm actually out trading and blind. Just trying to predict where they are. Nice. Had to get him to use the shield. And now he's gonna lose this full wave. Or I had to get him to use the stun thing, right? If he uses stun there, he can't interrupt my ult. Nice ward, what's up? Stream only on YouTube? Nope. Don't do it! 
Don't do it, brother. I just have to ensure we get we get five or six. Okay, I guess Wolo Bear is useless here. An enemy has been slain. Yeah, no idea. Shut down. Guess I can't do anything without all. Sad. My bad there, I guess. Dying stupidly. We should get grubs for that at least. They invested too much pressure. Actually, the, my death might be worth it. Getting 5-6 grubs with a comp where we have like multiple split pushers. Honestly, I call that worth. Dying so they can't really go for that. Damn, I didn't get Dark Harvest. No, come on, man. No Q. I ah, we shove this immediately. We shove this immediately because grubs go hard. Sucks that he dies, but whatever. We stripped of a three place here. Ah, oh, my bad. Stupidy, but I can't really save her. No idea what happened with her jump. She just gets caught. Yeah, this is very, very losable. Well, all the advantage I gave Zeri is kind of worthless now. She can't really be a carry if she gets blown up at the start of the fight. Top CS is good because Emo is just denying Jax horribly. Hey yo, what is happening here? Why does he recall, man? Whatever, my bad. Like, I see Volibear here and he's pinging top back, which means he's going to cover for the counter and then he just recalls. I keep fighting Vision solo, which is just not good. Good, Zeri gets a kill. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Her damage is so shit. For a character with six kills, that damage is really shit. Because he's fit. <laughs> he's a monster fit, that's why he's a bounty. Nope. 
I was hoping to bait him in. Can't really kill him unless he wants to die there. Okay, let's just wait. Let's just wait a little bit. Wait for me to make the plays. I think we're fine. They will be strong as hell. I need to get three items to carry this. Nice. Getting the dark harvest there. He's got ult, he might go for me. I just I have zero synergy with this volley bear. I have absolutely zero synergy with this volley bear. I figured we're going for a dive plus kill like a fucking tower and then we go back for the this blue. I don't think the blue is that pressing, you know, to take. We're gonna get it anyway. Fucking hell. I have zero synergy with him, man. J4 is so fed. They have objective bounties everywhere. Whatever we give now is gonna cost us a lot, and we're gonna give a lot. They're getting Teemo shut down, and they're gonna look to get at least one objective. Good thing we take this. Oh, well, that's all I have for you. How do we defend this? We have no tank now. I don't want to give this, but I don't know how to win it. Maybe like that? Enemy troll? Not really. Yeah. Honestly, we're kind of shit. I think my team didn't understand that we were playing an unorthodox comp. And they just thought we were gonna stomp for free, you know, so we can play like shit. This game is very difficult right now. Very difficult. Our wing cons are limited like crazy. We have to break them at early burn. What is it? Yeah, I think we throw this game. This game is over, I think. I think we lost it. They have all the Vincons now. It's it's over for us. I'm not sure what the play is. Yeah, Ari is so much stronger now than this guy. They have better group situation. We're perma dead. We can't fight anymore. We have no tank. Nothing. We're resorting to these desperation plays, which if he has sums, we get baited into oblivion. 
No idea why he's calling for this play. Criminal shit. Good kill. Three items are a reasonable spike. Please kill him, please kill him, guys. Oh no, <laughs> oh no. We kill him, but I die. If we can trade Ari, that would be massively worth it, but... No, we can't really do a very good burn. Maybe they can clutch it, but it can be a 50-50. They just insta in for me. We got Shrooms and Invisible Teemo. Okay, bait into Shroom. Nice, they can't steal anymore. Teemo is dead, though. He shouldn't have went back. He should not have went back. Now if we die, it's gonna be real bad for us. Yeah, yeah. Good job. Good job. Baron Cole was great. I'm glad we played for Baron. Baron is also our only Vincon here. We accelerate advantage nicely. Scott Heaver, thank you for becoming a Voidling, man. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. Noble sacrifice? It has to be done to accelerate the game. We have to end this quickly. I would very much love if enemies would tilt an FF right now. I do not want to play this game one fucking bit. I really don't want to play this shit out. Okay, Ari old. I do not want to play this. There was Zyro and Mickey? I don't think they're surrender type. I don't know. Yeah, we're wasting our Baron here. I can give Shirelli a move speed. Yo, you got old, right? I don't know. Uh, if Stana dies on the side, Volibear fucks up the chase here. That should have been free, he fucked up his old criminal dude. Please clean him up. Eh, run. Reset. Please reset, we can still lose. We're so close. Double inhib is open. Double inhib is open. We're so close. Why is she dying? Why did she die for no reason? Ari's gonna have ult. She has to dash over the wall. Nice. Good job. Didn't die. Nah, we can just get a pick. We play for pick. That will make a mistake. I'll find it. I'll choke out the vision if we get a pick and... 
That should open up inhibitors. She doesn't have ult. Oh, there's this guy. Okay. That was very good. Oh. GG well played. Good job, Zeri. Okay. Zeri with a massive pick. Great call. Cut. Yo, what the fuck? I never said a single thing, homie. <laughs> I not me I never flame guys <laughs> good job sir now nah, but seriously the game was very close to losing when it was basically game over we nearly fucked it up 18 piss unfortunate Nah, I, I, we had so many throws. I did not like how, uh, how our Wooly Bear played it out. We, we made so many mistakes. I made so many, like, a forcing plays because our play is supposed to be to force. All of these picks, but yeah. Alan had your audio on. If he's listening, tell him, tell him he sucked. He threw his advantage. Flame with your skin? You're goddamn right. Not going BMO is criminal. Check said zero items. <laughs> I know. I know. It was down 100 CS. What thrown advantage? You griefed it, man. It's horrible. Horrible gaming. Not shooting fucking bees at him and stinging him. Crazy. What is this? I don't know why you put it at this timestamp. So what? You want me to watch our cows OP? Why would I? Why would I watch this? Our cows OP. The fuck is this? Like a Diablo thing? Oh, crows. Okay. So I guess it's safe to say it's not a Diablo cow thing. They've already lost. They just don't know it. Here from behind. What? Huh? What am I watching? Primates are notorious for their incredibly broken intelligence stat, which grants them access to incredible advanced techniques. I don't watch this. Like, isn't Tier Zoo like the, the the ones that just do like this fucking slideshow of like a comparison of size or uh, statistics and bullshit? Isn't that the channel? Team strategies no? and even bartering and trade. But primates are not the only faction in the game. Isn't there a different channel with exactly the same fucking uh image? Boomer? Isn't there like a channel that has the same exact icon? That does like those slideshows. Step. Cetacean, cephalopod, and bird mates also commonly opt not to spec into powerful damage dealing abilities and instead invest into leveling up their brain power skill tree. While this does seem like a risky choice, leaving the player more vulnerable in direct 1v1 combat, oh, no. in actuality this often results in a much less risky playthrough as the player's intelligence opens up more options for them to progress that don't require winning in combat. This is especially true of the bird faction, as their ability to fly already allows them to quickly escape most unfavorable <laughs> combat Yoink. encounters. Today, we're going to discuss one of the two main intelligence-centered bird builds, the faction that contains crows, ravens, and magpies, the corvid. This video is going to focus mostly on crows as an example, but generally what I say in this video should apply to most corvids. Corvids. First, let's discuss their stats. 
as well as the abilities and strategies that exemplify huh? them. We'll begin with their stealth stat, which Corvids aren't particularly excellent in. The most popular Corvid skins are either Jet Black or Piebald, neither of which grant the user that strong of a stealth bonus. In fact, in snowy areas, Jet Black feathers are actually one of the least effective choices when trying to remain hidden. A dark appearance is most effective as camouflage at night, but crows and other corvids are not nocturnal builds, so they aren't really gaining this benefit from it. Now, granted, stealth typically isn't all that important for birds, given how agile and vigilant they are. Plenty of other high-tier avian builds, like for example parrots, are arguably some of the least stealthy birds in the game. And parrots are the fun. worst and still. You even argue that corvids are even less stealthy than their black feathers initially appear as their iridescence actually makes them even easier to see for certain other players, typically other birds. Ultimately, I think it's safe to say stealth is not an important part of their game plan, at least nowhere near as important as it is for ambush predator builds like an owl. The main predators a crow needs to worry about are raptors, and because of the raptor's keen eyesight ability, it's unlikely having a higher stealth stat would make much of a difference anyway. The crow's defense and What the fuck are we watching, Chad? Why'd you send me this? Bird, which is to say, not great. Birds have hollow bones, and their feathers offer fairly little in terms of defense. Feathers do absorb. Okay, video, some video redeemed. Damage. Video okay. redeemed. Okay, it has like a you died screen. That's a brilliant edit. You know, can't go bad with that. When it comes to slashing and piercing damage, it's nearly useless. And because of their hollow bones, which make them more vulnerable to blunt force damage, the benefit there kind of cancels out as well. Snakes, cats, raccoons, raptors, and dogs all have a high chance of taking a crow out in one hit, so they cannot let their guard down when interacting with any damage dealer builds. Given that their playstyle necessitates taking some risk, crow players definitely wish they had more room for error. Thankfully, their next stat Damn, is that pretty easy to down. avoid damage. The crow's mobility is a little above average for a mid-sized bird, which is to say... Yeah, I... I remember reading somewhere that they're really smart. They can recognize people and shit, and like individuals specifically, and have like very good pattern recognition. Birds in general are just extremely agile, both on the ground and in the air, making them extremely hard to land an attack on if they see you coming. Some bird builds, like geese and jungle fowl, require significant Jinky. startup in order to get airborne, meaning that they can't rely on their flight to escape danger if the danger is already right in front of them. Crows are not one of these bird builds, and in contrast, the startup on their flight move has some shockingly broken frame data, and allows them to quickly and easily reposition themselves. <laughs> little Sunny, Little Sunny's chasing him. Instantly. Look at that. This makes their ability to dodge attacks one of the best in the entire game, and makes what would normally be fairly dangerous positions, such as right next to a powerful predator, quite safe as long as the Corvid doesn't use any laggy moves. Damn, we'll this synergizes just well with the Corvid's crazy. combat move set, as we'll discuss in a moment. Corvids are RuneScape blessed with many text. high stats, but power is not one of them. Their ability to deal damage is one of the weakest in their weight class, as their only attack option is a simple pecking strike. This move has quick startup and very little end lag, but its damage I love is that sound. I live for that sound effect. Simply attacking with this move will deal minimal damage to anything larger than an insect. Most players will be able to ignore this attack damage. <laughs> However, this doesn't mean a crow's attacks are useless. It just means they've got to be clever about how they use them. A well-placed peck can provoke an attack, and if you're able to move out of the way quick enough, the enraged player will end up being forced to lash out. Yeah, that did not do that much damage, mind, guys. And create an opening for the Corvid player to capture an objective, steal some loot, or Wait, escape trouble. <laughs> it might seem like a jank strategy, but really, this is the bread and butter of Corvid gameplay, and can lead to massive swings in advantage. The chance to afflict the enraged status effect scales with the user's intelligence stat. So the reason this strategy works so well is that the Corvid's intelligence stat is instigating a fight. For a build. <laughs> Corvids are tied with parrots, oh, the highest shit. intelligence stat in the entire avian faction. And in addition to enabling the goading strike move set, having high intelligence grants Corvids access to a lot of other powerful techniques too, including the ability to Damn. use tools. Tool use is one of the most notoriously powerful abilities in the entire game. And in Crows, this is no less Why is true. it so funny? By using hook-shaped wooden sticks, Crows can score kills on grubs that are normally safe from everything except for grubs. woodpecker attacks. He's and getting given grubs. how many expensive niche perks woodpeckers need to spec into in order to perform these sorts of drilling attacks, the ability to bypass all of that investment while still gaining the same rewards is a huge boon to the Crows. 
But Easy high intelligence has far more benefits than just allowing crows to copy the success of hyper-specialized builds. Remember human faces Arguably for five years. Holy is shit. Tactics. This is what allows baboons to fight off lions, what allows ants to bring down tarantulas, and what allows wolves to prey upon bison. Holy when crows work shit. together, they can capture territory and control points of interest that they'd otherwise be helpless to defend. They can even rescue each Bastards. other from what would otherwise be guaranteed lethal attacks, using a tactic... Honestly, how cool would it be like if there was an apocalypse and all humanity perishes? And one of these species, like, like from a bird, you know, evolves like a new species. Because usually the prediction is going to be either like the, the apes or it's going to be bears that they're going to take over. Like if we disappear all of a sudden, right? They're going to master our technology eventually and take it up, right? But imagine if crows did it because they have like intelligence. Like they just have to like develop what? A bit more like opposable thumbs, you know, more control, you know? That that would be so fucking cool, right? Imagine like a sci-fi with, with, with birds actually dominating the planet. Because the planet of the apes is just, it's just fucking human 0 0.5, you know? It's boring, right? It's fucking boring, right? That's kind of... Uh, why bears? That's one of the really good predictions. Bears are incredibly, incredibly smart. And, uh, yeah, they can... They can do a lot of stuff, you know? Thanks, guys. Thanks, 57. Uh, yeah, I remember I remember reading somewhere that the prediction is either bears or the apes that would take over. I think apes have a distinct advantage because they just steal basically all the technology we've done and kind of slowly reverse engineer it. Bears are super low in population, but without humans, they could easily infiltrate, like open up like, a, or let's say, abandoned stores. They're going to open up the cans, all that, procreate, get a bunch of them, you know, and eventually maybe they could populate the cities. That's kind of my guess, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, bears are smart, guys. Bears are smart. But yeah, like, imagine birds. Imagine avians going... I remember, like, uh, one of those, like, Star Trek shows. Uh, there was, like, a planet which had, which had, like, every kind of species. Like, it had, like, the very smart octopi uh, in the water. It had avians and then reptiles took over everything. They were, like, killing the others, you know. They were the most militant. Mobbing. Mobbing is a strategy most commonly seen in birds, consisting of bombarding a single target with a barrage of both physical and sonic attacks. On their Snake, own, you just play safe. Off. But when you're getting pecked at and screeched at from all directions at once, it inflicts heavy physical and psychic damage. This is what allows social corvids, like magpies and crows, to successfully chase away predators several times their size. Stressed, oh no, can I get a heart attack? They not to really need the help, as they're large enough to handle most opponents one-on-one. -on -one. Orca, yeah, yeah, but like, they can't do shit. Dolphins, veils, orcas, all of those, like, are pretty much useless. They can't do shit. If anything from the ocean would arise with the new prime intelligence of the, the Earth, it would be octopus. Has to be octopus. There's no other choice. But can still team up in order to lock down a good source of carry-on. Alternatively, they may even ally themselves with wolf players, leading them to a carcass and letting them do the work fighting off their competition before sharing in the rewards. Anyway, that's a basic overview of the Corvid build. Now, top of let's the food chain and see by far? It doesn't matter. The Corvid matchup chart You're is not top of the fucking food chain. Like, you're gonna take down the lion, bear? You can't, but you're just more useful when it comes to using technology. Heavily dependent on how effective their goading strike and mobbing techniques are against a given target. Luckily, because of how Bird high the intelligence stat is, the list of targets goading strike works against is quite long. <laughs> it is best against builds with lower intelligence stats. Things like vultures, things like reptiles, and things like rodents. What's more, this technique even works on one of the Corvid's two primary threats, feline builds. Deadly as cats are, they're often quite reactive and easily aggroed. So, Goading Strike is the perfect tool to redirect their ferocity. This move is admittedly less effective against the Corvid's other main concern, Raptors. However, thankfully the mobbing technique is quite effective against Raptors, so for both of their main threats, the Crow players have options. The only builds these techniques aren't that effective against are other high intelligence builds, such as monkeys and parrots. Because of their extremely strong social bonding and top tier I'm the music, set, honestly. parrots are highly resistant to psychic damage and do not turn on each other easily. Oh In shit! Fact, when pestered by a corvid, they are likely to defend each other fiercely using their own more powerful beaks and louder shrieks. One on one, they're fairly evenly matched, so it tends to just come down to size. But in groups, corvids tend to have difficulty forcing parrots away from an objective. 
As for monkeys, their higher HP allows them to more easily ignore the pecking attacks of a crow. And they're he doesn't their give tails a fuck. All the time by their own party members, so a crow doing it is unlikely to provoke a punishable response. Crows and parrots have an interesting dynamic. I've said in previous videos that I believe parrots to be the more viable build. They have higher dexterity with their beaks, their sonic shriek attack is incredibly effective, they're more social, and arguably more intelligent even. And yet, of the two most intelligent bird builds, there's no denying that in the city biome, corvids are much more successful. I think the reason for this is that even though parrots are indeed more powerful on their own, and are better at using most tools than crows are, crows are Damn. better at using most important Evans. other players. Thanks for two months, man. From Appreciate it. From attacks and redirecting aggression to using passing vehicles to deal Never. damage for them and unlock high-value loot, corvids are the Never, best brother. of the best when it comes to using Thank other so builds' much, strengths to cover for their own shortcomings. And if the human build's dominance is any indication, Co-opting the strengths of less intelligent builds is one of the strongest strategies you can possibly execute in the game. And it's for this reason that Corvids sit proudly in S tier. Damn. Speaking of builds with a high success rate within the city bile, another creature that thrives in cities is the centipede. With their quick twitchy movement and flat shape, they have no trouble weaving through all of the nooks and crannies common in urban environments. This is the subject of my next video, which will be out on YouTube centipede. in a month or so. However, if you like to watch that video right now, damn. Dark Soul Centipedes. Very cool. Oh, that was an interesting video. That was an interesting video. A nice little detour from from our usual business. You know, pretty fucking cool. So Mickey's now banning Velkas, I swear. Might still learn the Pearly Sea Finals. I'll coach him if he wants to. If Mickey's down, I'll coach him Velkas. Free of charge. I just want him to pick it. God damn. He's one of why humans are OP. Humans aren't OP. Humans are uh, explosive radical builds. It's not long, long term. We've been here for like two, three hundred thousand years max. And we won't be here for long. They fall off play game, yeah. Humans don't scale. Humans quickly uh, get overpowered, you know. But then it becomes self-destructive. Kind of stomped him last game. Now he's against Talon again. Straight up Ben Wilk is not taking the risk. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Was he live? Was he on stream? Wait a second. Ah, uh, she ball. Is he on stream? Mickey isn't streaming? Oh, I just saw it on Alan's stream. Yeah, kind of cool we got him to to ban Valkus. Appearance Iro Sport is garbage. Complete garbage. Never play that shit. She's dog shit support. How does Zyra lack damage? Because she lacks damage. She does not have good good options for direct damage and her poke is not good enough to justify it. She was never a Giga Burst character, but her poke was pretty decent. So she could play annoying map control. Nope. She does not do damage. Trust me. Her damage do be ass. Ah, uh, yeah, she doesn't work really very well.
Three bow chunks, yep. Hey, Elias, what up? Tatek, what up, buddy? How are you doing? <laughs> Thank you so much for 20 months. Thank you for 20 months. Fucking appreciate it. Appreciate it, bro. Welcome back. Hello, bro, Sam. Day's been uh, going pretty good. Pretty good. Bit of a late stream, but yeah. Well, unfortunately, we have left Pike open because I was top lane, but I swapped with this guy. No piker. Dodge, please, please. Never dodge. Never dodge, my friend. Imagine dodging. We've outdrafted, I think. We're looking, well, not really, but you know, I'd like to think so. Bro, I can't look away from the client. People instantly typing about Dodge. Fucking pathetic. Okay, and our draft is looking a bit iffy. But yeah. That has to be Talia mid. Not jungle, because they have Lee Sin. That could be support. We get last pick top. Isn't Neil a good counter for Vel? Yeah, Velka's outranges her. Can I gonna have a bad time? Kindred is bad. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, Pike wouldn't have really worked too well here. Pike wouldn't have worked very well with Jinx set up here. Going resolve secondary and artillery mage, so too much safety. Uh, uh when support, yes. Because you pretty much have to go this on support. Come on, dude. Fucking Dodgers. We've played one game. Get nowhere to go. How'd you play? Well, it's banned. Depends on the game. Depends what we need. There's such a negative Nancy for real, right? It's the worst. Hello, Remy. What up? How does Fox keep their rank with dodging so much? Because dodging is a mechanic! You don't lose anything by dodging. You lose fictional points, which don't matter. Like, let's say I'm winning 20 and losing 20. I dodge, I lose 5 LP, and next game I'm gonna win 23. And then the next one I'm gonna win 22. Because your MR stayed the fucking same, and you lost only your points on top of it. Dodging doesn't cost MMR. That's the problem. That is the problem. Got no better run. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow Fortress? Nope. Let me see if we just sold anything real quick while we wait for the game. No. Cloth pan, yeah, both of these are pretty good. I think they're gonna sell eventually. I 
I'm kind of stacked money wise. This one's got 9k. I think some of the closer skew nonces would go away from where it was visible. Oh, you mean loser skew? Yeah, uh, that's my initial contention. I, 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 I thought that that would be something that would happen. If you just basically show MMR to people, they would eventually stop believing. A lot of them. Okay. Have I guys seen my uh, new build here with the crossbow? Going for the crossbow one taps. We're more fair if this uh, would be like season one two with the ELO system. Yeah, ELO system is so much better. It's so much better. It's just. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, you filth. Don't touch me! You fucker, he scanned me. That warrior scanned me. Yeah, steps have no sound right now. I, I I checked it out today when I was uh, doing some sales. Now it's kind of crazy. I think my ranger is gonna be a lot better because of it, especially the the windless one shot ranger. You know. Oh shit! My bow is garbage. I got really good gloves. These gloves are awesome. Okay. Do you like the scanning? I hate the scanning. I don't want them to know what I have. I mean, I like when I know what they have, but you know, it's like, don't look at me. Don't look at me, dude. Do you have an opinion about the mind games or the way the game changes their force and their civil in the game? How are you playing it? Uh, opinion yeah she definitely creates a different playstyle entirely i think it, she's generally unhealthy in a in a solo queue no matter what going for top 10 is playing dark and dark a lot of league streamers are reduced <laughs> bro dark and darker is incredible secondly uh we are in queue Oh my god. I only get hit on stream, I swear. Oi! No! No, we're dead! We are actually fucking dead. wasn't reloaded are you fucking kidding me i got rushed immediately my crossbow wasn't reloaded fucking hell man i got hit by stupid fucking mob I'm talking to Chet. Unreal. Oh, that's so sad. My crossbow wasn't reloaded, the whole playstyle fell apart. Oh no. Very sad. Mucho sad right there, guys. Oh, fuck him. We're gonna get a league game anyway. Unreal. 1k bits! 
Hamster Nerdum actually dark and sleepo is such a good game. Just like Gothic 2 and Quake, as a problem. <laughs> what? It's not just like Gothic 2 and Quake, it's good, it's great. It's not like Gothic 2 and Quake, though. Those are genre-defining games. Oh, there's a little icon when you uh, duck. It shows that you have no sound effect. Thank you for the 1k bits, man. Fucking appreciate it. Is this two hour queue? We played one game and it's only one hour, so... Today it's pretty good. Today's a good day. How do you get the mining equipment? You can just buy it. Or you get it, like, in, uh... For monsters. This patch is a little bit uh, glitchy though. It's a bit slow. I really want to buy like a good gear, like worth like 2000 or something, and then uh, try to just destroy people, you know? Die? Yeah, looting is so uh, so sad right now. There's like a half a second delay before you can see the items when you loot. That's sad. Wasted my trap. Don't worry, guys. We get a new one. I didn't think he was gonna be in the past. Stupid Gnoblin. Kumu, thanks for your bits. You are the trap man. I do be the trap man. The finest of all the trap men. That is me, baby. We trapping him. There might be somebody on my right coming. Wait, what? The fuck is this? There's a path here. Hello? Oh, we found a new trap. Awesome. Did he break my trap with a Hydra? It's life draining. Wait, what the fuck hit me? 
Why am I low? Yeah, as if I have a chance. Wait, what took so much of my HP? Can I see that? I didn't know there was a goblin there, man. What is this? This guy played it like shit. Without the goblin advantage, I had him actually. Well, I didn't really have him, but he couldn't kill me. That's a warlock right there. Help here, it's what a. Man. Is this a fighter? No, it's a rogue. If you're hiding, you can move 10 steps while crouching or slow walking. So that guy is just pure stills. Oi. Try to hit me. Try to hit me, you'll never hit me. Shut the fuck <laughs> Oi, oi, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. Hey. Chill. <laughs> also, we're keeping it true once again. We got the most amount of support on the stream during Dark and Darker in, in queue time. You know? Instantly getting bits. Whereas I can like play in 1200 ELO, make LEC players look like nothing. And it's like, oh, good job, Zap. We get one pog in the chat. You know, it's a money hack. Next Friday stream, just keep in the queue. Yeah. Five head. Come here. That's the new potion. Magic protection. You wanna kill centipede, guys? That would take a while, but centipede can have good loot. Another one. Okay, you know what? Let's just go for a centipede kill. Can you stop? Should have killed this guy. Yo, am I lagging? I have a I have a match found. Fuck! Stupid ass video game.
I can't believe I got here in time. Cause I was I was supposed to ban a champ, by the way. And I'm jungle. Kinda garbage loot, but eh. Strongest pot ever. I got some lockpicks just in case we need them. Armor rating might be alright. Where's the preference from? What? Am I support or gun? Okay, uh. they got Sajani. What the fuck do we play against Sajani? I don't know how good his brain right now. Is that a thing? How good is brain right now? No idea. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Cheap shot. What do you want? Yeah, not looking too hot. I think it was CDR, right? Pretty sure it goes CDR. It used to be a ghost thing, but I'm not sure versus their comp. What do you think? I feel like you get run over without ghosts here. Oh man, it's kill sent piece. I'm sad we're gonna have to die in this run though. Centipede loot being wasted, unfortunately. Stop popping up, League of Legends. I know. I know you're on. Fucking hell. The game went through. I can't finish my run. There's no static escape anywhere. Fuck me, piece of shit. Oh, unfortunate. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. Is Brian the champ now? Because I seem to pick champs every time they, they get outdated. Does Brian work right now, guys? What do you say? I haven't seen him in a while, but it's a jungler I kind of know how to play, so... Oh. What the fuck? Yeah. What? <laughs> what the fuck? What is this shit, man? Okay. They just walked in. I feel like they, they might be watching the stream. So it's such a random fucking move to pull off that in invade like that. Going. 
Because their level 1 is not weak and their level 1 is not great, except Darius. No idea about brand passive. Yeah, apparently passive is not triggering it. Unreal, man. We have Pryo, right? We have a gank and Pryo, come. I don't know why Rill didn't commit to this. I have no idea, man. This shit is so fucking weird. That could have been game breaking advantage. Eh, nice try. Nice try. That would have been such a right force, man. <laughs> Punisher is back being himself. Good two for one here. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, roll or uh, Sajan is gonna be bottom side. Good job. What do I mean, good job, cat? Where the fuck is a uh, well played brand? Hello? 
Any brand gaming? Wait, what am I supposed to go first? I'm pretty sure we go Lindries first, right? I don't fucking know. Rylai's Landry's? I'm thinking Landry's is better. I gotta be I gotta full clear now. I gotta full clear, I'm sorry guys. Holy shit, poor man, man. Let me just do this. Oh, he's too deep. Yeah, I can't save him there. That is just too many players. Yeah, if you respected that gang, that would be so massive for us. They would be losing way too much. Hook too hard? Yeah. A little bit too much cooking. bottom side not much I can do there Damn. He went through. An ally has been slain. Yeah, that was a good counter, but uh, mid. Okay, my bad, my bad. A bit greedy. A bit greedy. Rill's a bit locked in the bot lane. I think she played more topside. I don't know why she's perma but That's alright. Whatever, trade this, I'll go back to clearing. I'm kinda strong now. They have so much MR already. I think getting pen is just not that good anyway.
Alright, there's already no ghost. This gank doesn't really cost much here. Get it? Are you gonna... Can she jump though? Please don't die. Why are you dying? Well, I got some kills in Jinx. <laughs> Come on, man. The point and click with a stupid item. I figured if I can stun him and do the W there, we're fucking insane. Ah, oh, shit. That's so insane. That's so insane, man. Cringe ass character. Had one skill shot, insta missed it. Yeah, I gotta go to clearing a little bit. I think we scale really well. We should be fine in this game as long as we don't tilt and. You garbage stuff. Of course, they have a wild ass ward here. Wait, why don't I have a fucking uh, sweeper? Why don't I have a sweeper? High elo jungler, by the way. Oh! That always happens to objectives, I swear. Always happens to objectives. I'm not joking. <laughs> that was terrible. Luckily, CDR is cracked right now. They are doing this. Can we do anything about this? Nah, they're gonna have more players. We have to give Herald a tank. That's the best I got. What's the matter, Targon? Losing your grip. Cheers to the best jungler you. Okay. So Jinx just go one shot by Zuri. Zero five Zuri killed her Jinx. Mesh kill Darius, but at what cost? Yeah, sending Cassio bot is just you know they're gonna all in topside. The slow brother, thank you for five months, man. Appreciate it. Appreciated the slow brother. The fuck is this recommended item? Storm Surge. I ain't building that shit. Okay. I hate this Lulu man. She's so annoying. She had so many roams this game, it's crazy. Wait, where's Cassia? She's bot still. You can't contain me, summoner. I still forgot to get the, the other one. Oh, 
shut down. Now we can't even play tower. I will play the trail. Uh, we might be too slow on this one. Yeah. Yeah, this doesn't work unless it hard engages. Why didn't you respect that? Like we, we weren't going for tower. We're creating we're creating a diversion because we have we just gotta kill bottom side and we're gonna have multiple pushes going. Why would we do that shit? I didn't want to go for tower there. Whatever, man. Oh, that's sad. So Johnny played it pretty well. Uh, they're all gonna die. What? What is real cooking? Our comp can be so powerful, man, if we play together. I forgot to get Sweeper again, guys. Honestly, getting dragon might have just be the play, but... So I got boys. Betting on a nice cleanup here. That was good, good job. Good job. I was hoping my flash is gonna make them turn on me a little bit. And that way we get a pentakill, you know? Yep, brilliant. Yeah, we're fed now. We're fed now as a team. We scaled very well. I think at this point our champs just win by default. Crib Bloom is another massive spike for me, but yeah. Yeah, I guess we're given this. Given Ocean is fine. You guys want red buff? Yeah, I have eight TF. Coming, fellas. 
What are you doing, Marin? Okay. Got some damage. This is fine. This is fine. Cool. Even. Come on, get one, please. Let's go, big. <laughs> nah, but this is fine, dude. This is totally fine. I don't think like sieging one tower with the Baron is uh, is the number one play here. I think we're supposed to do multi push and suffocate their jungle. Clear this into clear this, shove this, shove this, and then we can we can just make a play with TF ult. Isn't that what we're waiting for and timing for? We even typed about TF ult. That's why I was going into full clear mode, so they can prepare the waves in the meantime. Trobin! He's, he's there! Happy birthday, Trobin! Once again, you sly little bastard. Thanks for the raid, appreciate it. I gotta push mid here. This is enemies only Vincon. These crazy flip fights. I think we're playing too much of a brawler, but... It's so good. Good mechanical plays by my team. Good job. Boldap! The enemies failed their Vinko, and even extending the game is totally chill for us. Holy shit. He just cleaned them up. That's fine, we got double in him. <laughs> Bro, he's typing so much. He's typing so damn much. <laughs> okay, next fight I'm picking up Elixir. Let's end it. I got a massive spike. We just have to group now. Just go as five here, cheese, Darius, one by one, and free low. Let's go, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Not getting sweeper still. Fuck. Dude, I, I can't rewrite my uh, my brain. I'm too old. It's too fucking uh, crystallized. I'm too old, honestly. I just cannot adapt anymore. That was a lousy old, but it's alright. Could have saved it for later. Fucking hell, man. Nice. Get her. Crypt Bloom, and now it's free low. I get the reset plus Crypt Bloom. Bro, this is Jinx is just bullying them. Okay, she was bullying a little bit too hard. If we just wave clear, we win the game, by the way. What are we doing? Bloom. Did you well played? Very nice. 
good game, good game. There we go, there we go. Storm Surge is bad? Yeah, extensively so. Very, very bad. Well, good job, guys. That's two wins back to back. Enric, my man, how are you doing? How are you doing, buddy? Thank you so much. Appreciate it, Enric. Let's fucking go. Okay, 2 0 so far today. Pretty good, pretty good. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'm playing brand late game like Rylai spam, Crip Bloom, and Landry's is so oppressive. Like, I can get instant one shot and I'm still gonna do so much because I'll just press few abilities. My gains went to shit again. I don't know why. Like, they instantly went to 18. It used to be 20 and higher. It's kind of cringe, not gonna lie. Are you still new brand visuals? Oh, yeah, definitely. What rank are you? We're rank 30 right now. Rank 30, you best. Two games, 148. That's pretty good, honestly. We need one more dub for 1200. Pretty fucking good. Pretty good. Pretty good, my friends. You're not ready for tonight's show? What is he cooking? What is he cooking? Hello, Emil. No surrender mental is a great new tool. Yeah, and no dodging. Like I just don't dodge. Look, I I pick. I got autofill jungle. Nobody wanted a fill for me. Hell yeah, I'll just play jungle. Who the fuck cares? Here we got autofill top lane into broken blade top lane. Doesn't matter. Let's fucking go. And just play. You know, just fucking play it out. Tough it out. Ah, we have a video request. Ah, oh, you bastards! You just can't let me be happy and play dark and darker for two seconds. You gotta go off with your stupid ass videos and requests. You requested a 24 minute video. That's not even gonna cover one queue time. It needs to be one hour minimum. What's wrong with you? Okay. What I got? World record Gothic 3 speedrun. Oh, no speed glitch. Interesting. These are usually glitched the fuck out. Prepare to listen to the brilliant soundtrack during this. <clears throat> Wait, this was one day ago? Wait, how is he running this fast? Wait, what? How is he running this fast? Wait, what? You have... You have the world record? We have a world record holder in chat. Meh. Not this one, but some other gothic. Yeah, yeah, the one with the speed glitching. It's fucking insane. Yeah, I was, uh, for one time, I was a world record holder in, on uh, Dune 2, 2000. I don't know if people beat it after. At one time, I was. On, on few missions. Okay, so he's rushing to Fairing, which is a city, and he gets there in 90 fucking seconds flat. That's disgusting. If it goes on like that, it'll never get me. Broken. He's stealing. Oh! Time loss. He lost half a second there. He fucked up the left or right on the lockpick. Wait, what? Did he do like some save load shit? Oh, so he gets the turn into Bloodfly? 
He turns into Bloodfly, I'm assuming for speed. And he can uh, sneak in, right? Why are they not attacking Bloodfly, though? Save load to reload RNG, I see, I see. So he's gonna go Giga North, yeah, Hammer Clan. The fuck is going on? You gotta love this combat, man. You have this arbitrary fucking stamina over here. Ar totally arbitrary stamina. You can just swing like till your eyeballs pop out. You know, it doesn't fucking matter. You can forever swing. You can swing tirelessly. Stamina absolutely fucking useless. And the guy just got stun looked by level one and destroyed. Oh. <laughs> okay, how does he live? Impressive he didn't die. Oh, what? You can save load while you're flying? Mid-air? Holy shit. <laughs> Turn himself into wolf? Okay. Wait, oh, okay, out of bounds. Out of bounds shenanigans, always lovely. Save load, I guess, to go back in bounds. Very once, yep. What is happening here, man? The fuck is this gameplay? You found this? So easy. Holy shit. Developing skips. Okay. Broken. Another time loss. He failed. You routed the category? Crazy. I love speedrunning, man. I just love speed. I can watch speedruns of games I don't understand at all. It's very fun. Okay, a blood fly for traversal. I'm guessing avoiding full damage as well. Zap is gonna play Gothic after us. Nah. Okay, so he's flapping. He's going to Zardus Tower. So just following like main quest line, but in like a crazy way. Turns into Wolf. Bunch of works, does the undead bullshit. Oh, he's actually killing it. He's cheesing it. Oh, he got his battle axe. Cheesed him. Got the battle axe. I remember this, but I ha I played this like 40 <laughs> hours in. <laughs> I remember this part. But yeah, I was legit like 30 hours in when I was there, I think. Okay, wolf out of bounds. Skillet! Skillet! Guys, it's Skillet. Dosa... Dosa Vidian. Okay, out of bounds, cool. So I guess Wolf can do out of bounds bullshit. Wait, was that was that intentional? Grazapisana. Means game saved, by the way, guys. Okay, so now he's in the Demonville. He kills the demon, gets a rune to portal into the fucking uh, closed off city, right? I remember killing this. I remember the first time seeing this demon. It's such a cool moment. Like, this game has so many, like, very cool moments. Like, first of all, you enter a city, which is basically a, a city of the undead. And, like, all of a sudden, there's a demon within it, you know, and it rolls all these skeletons. So you fight them, you get the portal, you get, like, a rune, and you take the rune and teleport you into the barricaded city with a magic shield, which you cannot leave. And then you're stuck in there dealing with a bunch of works. It's, it's crazy stuff. You know, very cool game. Son of a bitch.
We had very good draft there, yeah, I'm so sad. There are more of the beasts! Okay, he's leveling up alchemy. I don't know why. Okay, killing these. I'm guessing to get some ingredients for alchemy, right? Oh, transformation. Oh, so he's gonna transform into blood flies again. And he teleports within the, the barricaded city. Instantly jumps into feet. orc settlement. Stop. I'll chop you to pieces. Potions break game? Huh. Okay, it goes to the king. There's King Robar and he pushes him. I remember uh, when me and my brother were playing first time, King Robar got glitched and he somehow just fell out, teleported and ended up in the middle of an ocean. And we couldn't beat the game due to the glitch because we needed him. Put that weapon away. Didn't you hear me? Put that weapon away. <laughs> what is he doing? Wait, he's actually pushing into the me? fucking ocean. Put that Wait, what? Does he Put not need to talk to him? Weapon. Could I have beaten the game? The fuck? What did he just do? He just pushed him out, but he didn't trigger anyone. No need to? I remember we were trying so many times to reload to figure it out how to like fix it. <laughs> Riveting combat! Okay, gets him low. Saves. Yoinks the amulet of Adonis. Turns into blood fly. Does some Jesus stuff. Goes into the desert. Desert's got beautiful soundtracks. Uh. Bro just came off the ship fresh like 13 minutes ago. He's killed the king of Mertana. He's killed like uh, the biggest orc. He's killed the biggest undead. He's killed the demon. He traversed the entire fucking world. <laughs> what is happening man? Oh yeah, Morovin, you can make, uh, you can make, uh, what is it? You get potions that increase your intelligence and intelligence scales with how good potions you make. So you make better potions and you can make better potions. They make potions that give you like 10 billion strength and you just one tap the end boss. Something like that, right? <laughs> I, lo I love this area, man. This area, this game is so beautiful. I wish it was like a fully fleshed out thing. Another broken mess on release. Wait, why were the temples the most difficult to solve? Like, difficult to access from within? Oh, what? Okay, he triggered that the uh, undead. What is happening? Oh, he's trying to bait him into other rooms so he can tell, so he can like save, load himself into a different room, right? No. Not like that. Not like that. Oh, he can't reach it. Nothing to be had. Okay, oh, he got it. Fuck it all. <laughs> That's insane. And it's a blood fly. Okay, it goes to a different temple. I can't remember how many there are. <laughs> so, he does this floaty jump. 
I love that. That's hilarious. But it doesn't actually go in bones ever, which is cool, because then we just get one tap. So again, baiting these guys away. I'm I'm assuming they they punch you through the wall when you come close to get the stuff. So absolutely have to bait them, because usually speedrunners don't do anything that doesn't absolutely have to be done. I'm very careful. Oh, what? Is he gonna try to escape? No? I'll just save a load to change their positioning, I guess. Wait, how the fuck is he here now? So now he's gonna go and kill, like, the... The king of, uh, Hashinshins. I love it. Nobody cares. Oh shit, it summons a golem. Zubin has got a cool sword. <laughs> but it's no match against infinite attack. He's parrying, but he can't do it against the wall, so... <laughs> I love the combat, dude. Holy shit, this is some Phantom Menace right here. That was a clutch teleport, not gonna lie. It's Zardus. Holy shit. He solves a centuries old war within like 20 minutes of arriving here, fresh off the ship. Okay. Goes into the deep furnace. Is jerking off. Boom. <laughs> well then. Oh. Oh yeah, there's like a portal thing, shrine. Well then, here we go. We there opened we the portal to the unknown land and left this world forever. Whatever <laughs> awaits us there is another story. The G -G. royal troops and paladins will once again become numerous and grow in power, pride, and strength. For brilliant, man. Absolutely fucking brilliant. <laughs> another story. That was great. Great world record, not gonna lie. I love it. <laughs> uh, I remember Gothic 2 also had some like crazy out of bounds shit Metal Gear 1 or 2 uh, no I haven't played him never played him Oh, crazy. I've never seen Gothic 3 speedrun. It's pretty fun. Pretty fun shit. But yeah, that game is a trip. It's it's a beautiful game to enjoy and explore. It's pretty cool. I wish it was a bit more playable, you know. Because it's got a very cool world. It's got brilliant music. I just wish the gameplay was a bit better. Well, 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 well. We're getting in, boys. 
Remember Gothic 3 with tons of bugs and empty spaces? It was hor horrendously bugged up on release. It had so many bugs. It was it was crazy. Trilogy. Okay, guys, one more win and we're 1200. We are ranked 30 right now. Yeah, there was a race with uh, Oblivion. It was like Gothic 2 and more of it, then uh, Gothic 3 and Oblivion, and then uh, the publisher made them release earlier. Piranha Bytes wasn't ready, and the game was kind of messy. Unfortunately, it could have been a, it could have been a masterpiece. I think had so much potential. Apparently, mod refunded me, but the video was actually watching the end. Let's take my point. I, I goddamn crazy, honest. Really? We're gonna have Corkeen to Cassio? Okay guys, it's time for Vomit Green. Vomit Comet. I'm not sure I like our comp. <clears throat> but if there's one thing we learned, comps don't matter in Giga Challenger. You either play well or you don't. That's it. That's all you can do. Oblivion speedruns are boring. I think Morovin speedrun is just one of the trippiest fucking things I've ever seen in my life. You guys want to watch Morovin speedrun? We can watch that in the fucking loading. You guys ready? We can watch it in the loading, okay? Okay, maybe not. Maybe not quite in the loading. Fuck. <laughs> it, I, it's Challenger PCs and this guy walks very fucking slow. Never mind. I was hiding. Wait, didn't Punisher say he's not playing? He's taking a break. Should have taken a break, man. Should have taken a break. There is much to learn about this world. Thirty seconds until minions spawn. Okay, what do we got? Zviro. Zviro plays somewhere in LEC. I got Carnage. Or oh, our top is Hillisang, apparently. Devodo Amne. Exakick. No idea who's Hungry Panda. And we have Unforgiven. No idea if he plays anywhere right now. Hit it. He's stealthing. That was a good trade by them, not gonna lie. If I got Dark Harvest, could have been alright, but yeah. Now they're looking for a flash play. Come on, I couldn't get Dark Harvest, dude. I couldn't get it. Morrowind is a gem. I love that game. It really has soul. It has so much soul.
Yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle early game, but we're gonna bring it back. I think we're fine. Did we win brand game? Yep. The recalling. Yeah, that can be anywhere. Oh my god. That was kind of smooth by Corky. Don't let him freeze it, we're good. No dodging needed, never in my life. Yeah, okay, we recovered the early game. It was a horrendous start, but we're alright in CS. Nautilus has no flash. Cassia, no flash. We just need top to chill. They don't accelerate, we're fine. Uh, three is unfinished, Gothic. If, if you want to play it, you still can, and it's still worth. Uh, also, I'm pretty sure there are community mods that make the game so much better right now, and actually a fleshed out experience. Also, if you really enjoyed Gothic 1 and 2, you can always go and play Risen. Risen is basically the same thing, like a spiritual successor of Gothic. Yeah, the issue is our comp is kind of bound to lose the map. No fucking way, that's killing. They do so much damage. That was so much damage. What's wrong with your comp? Take a guess. Take a wild guess. Look at our comp, examine it, and take a wild guess. What do you think could be the problem? <laughs> no frontline is putting it mildly. We have no front line, no measurable early game impact, no prios, no pushing lanes, no, nothing to rotate to. We have absolutely fucking nothing. We have nothing but garbage in this comp. Do they freeze? No? I don't have flash. It's gonna be risky if I'm here versus Nautilus. The only way we can win this is if you like tremendously outplay. That was a good hit. Holy shit, nice try. That was a very nice try. Our lane's kind of lost before we even get to play it, sadly. And due to lack of map pressure, we can't really do anything. Okay. 
that. Nice. That was great. Got him to use everything and he died. Huge comeback play. Risky by Lee Sin and he got punished. Is he gonna die? Kill him already, please. Good hit. Okay, I got a recall. They are somewhat fed and two carries. Jace is always going to be strong, so we're not in the greatest position. I don't know what our strengths of Corky, honestly. We're going to have good damage, I think, with Corky Zuri eventually. Yeah, they're all both. Nice. Good job, Zeri. She lived. We got the fardos ready. That was pretty good teleport. Twitch mid. I gotta go, but I have to make a play a bit old, but yeah, this game is looking a little bit rough. It's looking a little bit rough. Around the edges, you know. That's about the only thing we could have done. I had to provoke that. I had to go that deep. This is our only comeback play. Twitch is still near. His both are shut down. Ha! <laughs> he hit a ward. Let's go. Big comeback plays, man. Holy shit. We might be back in a game because of that. Corky's now strong. I have to get the three items. Maybe we're good. Okay, we got a pick. An 
what he says down there. Yartop is perma leaking. There's not much help we can do. I have to use my move speed and try to catch him. He has a ward. That's pretty good. I have ult, can we do this? Really tanky items this game? Hell no. I need to build anti tanky items this game. I have everything. I have everything. That's massive. I'm forgiven finding a comeback. Cassio going bot. He's finding a comeback. Oh, IP slow that. Let me pad my damage a bit more. Okay, big. Dude, we got shutdowns on us. We made a massive comeback. Yeah, he's dead. That was very greedy. Very extraordinarily greedy. If we give up dragon here, can we play top herald? Winnable? Definitely. Did we find the, the one fucking winning strand? Still not even close to winning this game. Made a comeback, we have shutdowns now. And I'd still say the game for us to win is like 35% of the best. Damn. Corky might be in a useful stage right now. Should've gone, should've done Herald. Can't kill Cassia without my ult. We should not be in brushes of any kind. They control everything. We cannot be in these situations. Okay, we gotta stop one by one. I certainly don't understand what my team has done. Like, this is 1k elo. This is a 1k elo game, and... We overextend bot greed, get caught, enemies control the bottom side map, and we constantly face the bottom side map while we're getting heralded trade objective. Like, can somebody explain that shit to me? Oh, I'm forcing too hard here, my bad. Hoping to interrupt their recall and we can go for a kill. Okay. I think they baited one kill here. Nice. Good job, team. They got something. Now they got the shutdowns, they're back to being ahead again. Funny. Funny game. I fucking knew something was up. Did you see me pre-juking there? I was pre-juking, I was sniffing them out. Yeah, listen. You're gonna catch me? No, no, no. I catch you, homie. You just gave 1,000 to my fucking Zuri. You just gave 1k to my Zuri. Thank you very much.
Damn, he's fast. He's gonna still... Okay, can win, can win. Yeah, they have crazy big setup. They just ruin our comp completely. And that being said, if we get the four items, it's very, very playable. <coughs> Disgusting character. 100 to 0 by a tank. Come on, man. He okay, he dies. He dies. Good. Good. Well played. We got stuff back and I got my item now. Sucks about our top dying. Pretty good, man. I'm coming and I have ult. Can't touch minions. Can I get root into knockup, I believe. Nope. Too deep. Good counter by top. What's the matter, Targon? Losing your grip. Oh, get shit on, homie. I cancelled to give her the money. Bro, what am I doing to them? I'm dead as fuck here. Nah, I'm, I'm giving my team so many chances for a comeback. We got another 1k on Zeri. Can you guys stop spamming fucking surrender vote? Like, what am I playing here for? I'm giving you everything. I'm giving you my soul. No, me still, buddy. Happy anniversary. Thanks for two years, man. Appreciate it, brother. They seem to be playing a bit better than us. And their club is a lot easier to play. But we are finding picks where we shouldn't, so... We did kind of scale... To a point where we shouldn't have been. So, maybe we have chances, you know, maybe we can surprise them. That's an objective bounty and we extend the game by quite a lot. Okay, we got the package. We got the quirky package and I think they will... Walk in. I hit him. Bro, Leeson is just beaming on me. What did we do there? We got Jace, but... Bitch, clean them up. Eh? I don't know, maybe letting my team start the fights while I'm zoning is probably not the correct play. I have to set up a hardcore winning fight that cannot be lost. That seems to be the only play. I don't even played really well this game. I don't think we like the way this game transpired from early game, like losing mid, losing top, and horrible bot. With worse champs. Will that thread have been for nothing that we found? The golden thread. Can we find another path that can lead us to victory? God, you're so balanced, dude. 
Another 1k on Zeri almost. You're so balanced, dude. Healing and shielding eclipse fucking uh, sundered sky and more. Auto attack for 700 HP with his W. Is there a golden path in which we win the game? I think there is. And we will do our damn best to find it. Twitch is the big problem now. We have to kill him. Okay, we know where he is. Which is gonna go for court? No, it's mid. Yo, anyone here? What the fuck are they doing, man? Bro, imagine we're grouped there. That's crazy. That's crazy that they do that. For a fucking support, man. For a support while I did so much damage to them. We just had nobody there. Not a single teammate to counter and punish. He's trying to bait a fight so they can end the game. And it actually works. Adomne is a genius. Nice, good shield. I think we saved it. Never mind, they're still gonna end it. No? Yeah? Yeah, they ended. Ah, what can I do? They play better. They play better. I did my best to carry this. I couldn't do it. I couldn't pull it off. I could not carry this. Could not carry it. We didn't find enough mistakes. That was a good game, though. I nearly found it. It's a little bit too many diffs. Let it happen. Oh yeah, we definitely have to fight that game out. Surrendering that game would be like... Why did we even queue up in the first place? Like, you might as well dodge. Because we were in a position much better than you would think from draft. <laughs> you have to play it out. Wait, let me go take a piss beer back. <sighs> Can't believe I lost that, guys.
We needed a monster win streak here. Very, very unfortunate. Roller coaster. That was the game. The fact that we win the brand game and we uh, lose that shit. Kind of crazy, you know? Do 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 do. Dark and darker. Let's see. Let's check our shops. Level twenty four. Oh, leather smith quest. I have two of these already. I'm prepared. We gotta get the letter caps. I want this quest. Elite great for skeleton crossbow. Elite great for skeleton archer. Get windless and longbow, both purple. Fucking hell. Yeah, I'll sell all of this. I kind of want to cook up a very good gear for this guy. You know? Like, very good gear. But I don't have any more uh, crossbows. No more windless. What's the windless here? 48 damage. That's actually not bad damage. Might as well do that then. Take one of those. Let's, uh, let's maybe use one of these survival bows. Do we have luck? Do I have luck on these pendants? No? Strength 1 move speed, let's do that. Use that shit, use that shit. Okay. Yeah, we'll try a windless run here. We got a existed Dune 2 team kiss the ring. It's allowed by TOS. Yes, it is. Yes, it is allowed. I just made up the rule. Okay. Kiss the ring. How's it go, Hans Zimmer? Do I not have lock picks? I don't. Can we get cheap lock picks? Lick pick. Any cheap ones? 31. Yeah, okay. There you go. Cool. Hey man, just wanted to say you never certainly the mentality you slowly change how I play the game. For the better, cheers for that. Yo, boom bar. Hell yeah, man. Awesome. Yeah, people in Challenger get put up on a pedestal too much. They tend to make same mistakes. 
they tend to make same exact mistakes. Hopefully we find some upgrades, because, yeah, this gear is like, shit, this is like giga low budget. All of this is found garbage, and I spent like 50 bucks to go in, so... Yeah, survival bow is just pure crap damage, but windless does 85. That's not bad, I guess. Okay, we're in the lobby with some... Ooh, if you could get this, that would be insane. Doesn't have too much reduction and uh, only 100 health. So this guy is killable. And that crossbow would be great. This guy is looking strong. Barbarian. Okay, those are pretty good. Bro, Dune soundtrack slaps. It slaps. Yeah, let's see. Let's do a little bit of dungeoneering, guys. It's a new patch. New opportunities. Building up our coffers. I'm so close. I'm, I'm like 1k away from having a third stash. Very close. Garbage lantern. I love the speed that comes with survival bow, but the damage is so fucking sad. Unless you have a giga one, you know. Okay, I brought lockpicks. This is almost always locked I get here, so let's hope we can open it up. Okay, we got a better recurve honestly i think we use that now especially because i'm not too hot on arrows yep oh yes oh my god toss that garbage out toss that garbage out holy shit windless with 55 Plus two weapon damage, plus three physical power. Bro. I'm pretty sure this is expensive. Holy moly. I need to get out of this one. Two magic healing. That could sell. I need to get out of this dungeon, guys. Oh, what the fuck? This is not the layout that I know. What 
What the fuck is this dungeon layout? This is the really old dungeon layout that I faintly remember. I think we're gonna have to go this way. Okay, that's pretty good. Two dexterity additional damage. That's a, that's a very good for Ranger. Shit, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I think anybody really kills me unless I get a drop on them. I need to be the first guy attacking. Layout of this level is so fucking weird. That's alright. I'll take resourcefulness. Is that a golden chest? I have to try to open the golden chest. We'll wait to see where the next zone is. Let's go. Oh no, somebody's here. Breaking all the doors. I have such a good hole here, man. If I can survive this shit. That would be absolutely marvelous if you can survive here. Four additional move speed, two percent damage reduction. That sells, I think. Please, portal. I need to reset and sell my shit. That's a very good trap there. So difficult to detect. Yeah, I think I'll play this edge zone here for as long as I can. Yep, he don't want any of that. Maybe he does want it. Will he be looking? That's the question. 
So he controls that area, both doors. Both doors are his. There's a guy on the left as well. Okay. So we're just gonna try to make no noise. Hopefully enemies are gonna make a misplay. Or a portal's gonna appear. Oh, the zone is so fucked. The zone is so far away. I think this room is still our best bet because it's a big room. It's a very big room. But yeah, entering it is very difficult because there's 100% somebody waiting inside. And if they if they're like crouching and get a drop on me, I'm doomed. I want to go like to the upper area in that room. I have to move. happening here I'm surprised nobody attacked me in this room there's still an enemy up there so guessing is not cleared I'm guessing whoever was here just looted and got the fuck out. The goblins are still up there. Interesting. I'm not safe for long here though. Where are the portals? Need a fucking portal, man. I think we're gonna have to get proactive. I'm running out of traps. There's a static here, which. Somebody's here. I know there's a guy in that room. Guarding the static portal. 
Yeah, I can put traps in front of doors. I think we have to go in though. It could be in this room. Wait a second. Static taken. Fuck. No way. No fucking way. He gets it right on his spot. I heard another one below, right? He's invisible! He's invisible, man. He's just standing in the room stealth. He sees me. Like, he's just waiting the entire time. Shows up and he's too close. I can't even, like, outrun him. Oh, he has... He literally sees the trap on the ground as well. I hit him with a crossbow. I actually hit him with a crossbow. It wasn't, wasn't a headshot. It was a headshot. I killed him. Come on, man. Really? Fuck. I'm so sad, man. I was looking so good there, but the luck was so shit, I couldn't find anything. Not a single fucking portal, man. And obviously he didn't go in a fight with the other guy who was on that door, you know, he just let him get away. Come on. That shit's unreal. Well, we're gonna we're gonna try that strategy again. Archer seems weak. Eh, he's all right. Ranger's cool. I think it's a bit better now with the whole stealth thing. But only if you're the one aggressing, you know. Let's use the crap we have from here, so I can get rid of it. I kind of want to waste all the crappy items. Okay. Do I need anything else? More traps, I guess. God damn it. I might just go like a full fucking gear. Because I think if I had more move speed there, I could maybe kite him. And then I can heal up.
They just gap close me so fast. He caught me shooting there stupidly. I actually don't know if there's a way for um, a ranger to find to find one of those like rogues. Or does he just win by default? On 100k subs. Yo, slam, man. How you doing? Thanks for five months. Appreciate it. How often do you play D&D? Not too often. Nah, we're no longer in queue. I've taken away the in queue. Man, very good food. Doing great? Same. Yet another positive day of league. them all yeah this game is really awesome it's super fun although now it gets a little bit weird with all the stealth making warlocks or making uh, rogues beyond obnoxious Not a fan of this area. Any of you died? Oh shit, I came back, can't get the arrows back. Okay, that's kind of sad. I wasted two trillion arrows, because you can't loot spiders, because they don't drop anything. So you can't get the... Get back. I can get the ones I've missed. good six max health I feel like those are good bardic pants but what do I know yeah rapier is fucking cool Oh, hello. Where did he 
did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? <clears throat> okay, I think I know this area. It's not bad. Okay, let me show you an idea here. So, I'm gonna bait this guy to stand here. Oops. Okay, that's well, not perfect placement, unfortunately. But the idea is to get him dead and then clamp his foot, you know? Now we have traps for kiting. Somebody's in the water. Additional physical damage. I don't think those are that good. I think we have a pretty good position here. Very well trapped. shield okay I kind of want to fight somebody here because I got pretty much nothing to lose here no signs of human life Son of a bitch. My bad. Somebody trapped me, guys. They placed a trap. Right where I'm walking. Would you imagine that? These people are crazy. They're savages. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oi! I saw the warrior one. I don't know where Archer came from. That scared the shit out of me. So much damage for no reason, man. Nothing too hot this run. Pretty boring. Where the fuck is everyone? Okay, I didn't know I was gonna trigger 50 of them. Step in my trap, please. Yeah, this run is just bad. Uh, I'm hoping to get some recovery loot from like clearing this. Definitely not terrible. Pretty sure the stiletto is sellable. Oh, this is open already. Okay. Let's reset. Not a good run. Not the greatest run, you know. Let's just reset. 440 experience. Not terrible. Well, I still think we made some money, though.
Okay. Reasonable cash. Now the question is, how worth is this crap? Tiny crossbow we keep. These gauntlets are really good. Pretty sure we keep this. Could sell really well, but we keep it. Rapier we probably keep. Oh, fuck, I know. Let's check if the rest will sell. Okay, is it stiletto? Epic stiletto is a hundred. It's got some physical damage bonus. Oh, these are expired. I just sell this crap. Maybe 149. And Bardic Pants with 4 physical power, 6 max health. Probably max health is the, the deciding factor there, right? Cheap. But if you add max health, it's still cheap. 6 max health move speed. Yeah, fuck you. Honestly, Bard. Bard players. Oh, you make me sick. You make me sick, Bard players. That's all I'm gonna say. Some trap gaming. And I think we're good to go. Let's try this once more. <clears throat> yeah, this is dark and darker. Really good game. Thirty three and a headshot. He doesn't know. That's a good longbow. That guy kills me in two shots, basically, with that longbow. This ain't Skyrim. This is better. This game is difficult, unlike Skyrim. It takes a while to load in. How did I lose in Skyrim then? I don't know, just reload on me. It's not that difficult. Press reload button. Okay, this is gonna be the run. This is this is the run where we actually get some crazy kills. I'm kidding. Don't 
so many arrows. Last time I started clearing this room, I got rushed, so... What the fuck? Okay, I need to leave. The thing I picked up is way better than the, the shitty loot that I have. So I kind of don't want to play with it. Plus two all attributes, five physical power, four agility. That shit is very close to being best in slot. And it very well might be. I gotta hit him from behind. <laughs> I gotta hit him from behind. No. I made a plus side on his head. <laughs> Can't believe I missed the one from behind. That would go so hard, dude. Somebody's killing centipede under me. Somebody's here. Get this guy so bad. Holy shit, headshot. Well, that's a windless crossbow headshot right there. Violence. Your fucking violence. Bro just got murdered. It's a white crossbow. Really garbage, but still a headshot? It's gonna do like 80 fucking damage. Okay, those are very good. What? Plus all attributes on a ring. Oh my god! What did I just kill? The f Fuck. Bro was looted. Holy moly. He gave me a lot of good gear, I'm not gonna lie. I'll never forget that, buddy. I'll never forget that little friend. Forget about this one. Yeah, we I mean, have to get out, man. Like, look, two all attributes, one all attributes, two all attributes. Like, what in the fuck? This is some good ass gear. So, there's a trap. Where did I place all of them? I forgot. How many traps I got? Four, right? One is there. Did I place one here? I don't think I did. Where's the fourth one? There's one here. Ah. 
Where's four, guy? What? My game crashed. I swear to God. No. My game crashed. What? No way. I just can't. I, I can't win. I kill a guy and I get fucking DDoS. Yo. Load back in, dude. Can we go back in? Hello? Yes, go back. Go back. I did not step in a trap. Holy shit. Chat. Do we know where my traps are? One is here. Oh, I had three, right? I didn't have four. I had only three. This room is nasty. That guy got sniped. He got absolutely murdered. Oh, I hear somebody. I think it's here. No fucking way I missed. Okay, this guy is good. some buffs the game crashed again the, the, the game crashed again what the fuck man <laughs> i'm dead i'm dead he's chasing me Just when we actually get a budget run, I kill a guy who's so much more looted than me. I out, like, I just fucking obliterate him before he has a chance to fight me. Game in progress? Watch, watch me spectate a guy now who killed me. Yep. Fucking hell. No, game is not in fucking progress. Are you kidding me, man? Imagine if I had, like, insanely good gear. Now I can't buy anything. I'm never buying gear. Well, we did unlock this quest at least from killing a person. That's pretty good. Angry Reddit thread. Yeah. I did not have any problems with the new patch, man, earlier today. Why the fuck this happened? I have no idea. I'm fucking real, man. I win lost the guy, the guy's head there. Completely ruined him. Okay, one more run with a shitty bow. I had 1k gold worth of gear? More. What do you mean less? Bro, the, the pants I had could have nearly made that much money themselves alone. 
Not to mention the ring with plus all attributes, the fucking locket. Yeah, I was about to kite and play around the trap. You're on Reddit? I imagine there's people losing a bunch of shit to stupid bullshit and rollback. They're losing tens of thousands of gold. I'm not gonna cry about my 1.5k. Especially because I didn't even I didn't even spend it. I entered naked essentially. No, no, there there are rollbacks on the server very very often, where somebody gets some gear and they lose it or something. And people lose stuff on occasion, you know. Playing around maintenance hours and patches can be a bit rough. Budget wizard. From zero to hero to zero in a world record. Holy shit, yeah. Well, I played this game for, I don't know, tens of hours. These are the first two crashes I've had, actually. So I'm hoping it's like the patch mixed up with that server. Hey man, love your vids. While I do still FF Thanks times, for the bits. I agree that FF shouldn't be as big a thing as it currently is. However, I am 100% against you saying losers Q is not real. Even if unintended by Riot Losers Q is 100% real just by the fact there is so many smurfs and thrower accounts and it's especially bad for me since I am in the JP service. Smurfs definitely upset the math. Of normal climbing and smurfs do mess the algorithm a little bit. They do not prove losers to existence on the other hand though. But it is annoying to deal with, that's for sure. I get pushed here very early on. Golden tea, that might be for a quest. Thank you for content. You're very welcome, Henry. That looks like a fake wall, but don't think it is. This area is gonna become a battleground. Let's hope I don't step in that one, guys. Seems very easy to do so, yeah? Let's hope I don't fuck it up. Oh shit. I didn't know all of them get unlocked. It is very 
very annoying but I think losing Q is real because I am constantly winning lane and doing my best, but I suddenly one day went on a huge lose streak and went from flat 4 to silver 2 by raw number of games where I will go 5-1 in lane and then my team can't win a 3v4 team fight despite me pulling both their top and JG towards me to stop my split pushing. Yeah, I, look, I hear you, I understand you. Everyone gets like frustrated like crazy and but at the end of the day there's just one random anecdote same like happened to me and yeah lane is just a very very small fragment of the game overall Beautiful. Can I actually loot this crap? Ooh, three vigor move speed. That might be sellable. I think we were uh, misattributing variance for it. Yeah, precisely. It is nothing more but variance. Don't know if that's sellable. We'll see. Yeah, exactly. Like, there are good poker players that can run bad for, like, months and be negative. But if they're good, their EV is eventually going to be positive. Creep changes? What are the... What creep changes? I don't know what is this lever, but let's try it. Oh, same shit. Just reverse. Why well, I go to make a sense, but it's been thousands of them. That, like, League of Legends has 100 million players. Having thousands of anecdotes is, is extremely expected. True physical damage. Guy's actually not bad. It's probably better than mine. We'll lost some HP, but I think it's worth it. Diggy, diggy hole, diggy. diggy hole. Glad I got this pickaxe. Fuck your adventure. Barbuta not good. Three strength, three will. I feel like those are the best roles you can have. I think this is the quest. Creep is the dark, dark croucher. Oh, that's the cre creep. I, I'm like, wait, what creep? League of Legends, what creep changes? I know that's what you meant by creep. Yeah, the, the sneaking. I don't know. I think it makes the combat even more silent than it used to be. So now if you're... Not seeing the enemy first, it's fucking rough. Definitely helps my uh, ranger gaming. Wait, what? 
This is the Skelly room. We're back in the same place. area cleared oh no is there a way for me to detect a rogue in case one is on me i don't think there is right i just die fuck it i guess i'll die i was too silent here but i guess it was silent because these dumbasses step in trap eventually and they kill themselves. Yeah, let's test out the, the disconnect again. Because I lost crazy good stuff on a DC here. Hopefully game will not fuck with me again. alive here yeah I guess we can leave no that's it Oh, four agility, five extra move speed. Yeah, I guess we're done in this one. Nobody's even near me. I know I have a skill which shows enemy steps. Does that help with the rogues? Does that uncover them? I mean, because I never thought of it that way. Boom! 32. Thank you, collector. Pleasure doing business with you. Will that actually see him? Yo, deja vu. Okay, I feel like these are good. 11 move speed and 4 agility. I feel like they're pretty fucking good. Not sure if they're sale good. Let's check that. Lace, turn shoe. I wish I could just click on your item to find it. Instead of having to, like, type. Yeah, look. 4 agility and 3 move speed is 300. Look at this fucking volume. 6 plus 4. And then 5 is max roll, I'm guessing. So 6 plus 5 is 450. And that's fairly cheap. Yeah, we're definitely going to list this. Uh, 439. Boom. As well, you uh, Castian Dagger 28 plus one. That sounds kind of decent ish. What do we say? 26 plus one. 
Mine is slightly better than this. Because it has that, uh... What's the best roll for it? Additional health? Yeah, I don't know how much to price this. Maybe one ninety nine. Then I have a teeth quest. Oh, never mind. These two will keep on for later. Okay, that's decent. Um, so yeah, we can take that, but then I have to lose what? Uh, crossbow Mastery or Quick Reload? I, I don't know. I'm not sure what to lose then, if you want to get steps. Two... I don't know, I feel like it wouldn't be that, that useful to have steps, but maybe I'm crazy. Perk that makes you not disconnect, sadly, no. Technically, footsteps and he can hear footsteps sounds from farther away. Wait, I forgot about that shit. Can actually hear from farther away. Slow reload is out of the question. Trap mastery and headshot probably also have to stay. I guess we have to lose crossbow mastery. Oh, trade? Guys? What I tell you, these are fucking. They're bis. 400 gold. 450 gold made. Just like that. Let me sell one of these. Uh, so. Blue Grey Helm 3 Strength 3 Will. This might be decent. I don't know. Don't know if they use this. Nope. Strength roll is garbage. How is will roll? Garbage. No? Wait a second. Three will, three strength, 666. Wait a second. It is a good combination. I had a decent suspicion. I will put it 199 and see what's up. Playing from Bosnia and Herzegovina? Yes, I am. Yeah, let's try with the chase sort of idea. Let's try with the footsteps. Now I'm a hunter. Try to get some snipes. Dude, killing that fucking rogue and then not getting to leave with that loot? So criminal. I should have made a 1.5k in that one. Okay, these footsteps are tricky. Like, you can see them backwards. No idea how long they stay, though. <laughs> ah, yes. An enemy has been here. So, about 30 seconds. Oh, what the? Oh! Bro is naked as 140. Bloodhound Gaming. I love Bloodhound, dude. I love Apex. Let's try it. Let's see how this how good this is. I can also hear footsteps from farther away. That that might play the part. 
But now I have to like reorient my senses to understand like how close enemies are. <laughs> Which is really fucking weird. Because I might think they're closer to me than they used to be. I don't hear anybody in the adjacent room. Wait, actually this is a different type of room. What? A white heater shield. Not the fart! I wonder how slow I'm going to reload without crossbow mastery. Let's check it out. Also my crossbow... Okay, that's kind of slow. So we mainly get one shot with that. Three agility, physical power. I feel like that could be good for a fighter. Nobody uses lanterns anymore. I think this is mostly garbage. Okay, you're about to eat four of them. Pop, pop. Okay, maybe three. Hidden the greedy guys. That's good. Good chest. I don't know how good is Pavis. Four percent damage reduction. Is that good? Does anyone use Pavis? I feel like that's just not sellable. It takes too much space. What do you say, guys? Blue Pavis with extra four percent reduction. Yay or nay? Oh, this is a tent room! Holy shit! I forgot this is a thing. Yeah, knowing the price would be cool, because... I don't want to miss out on a big item. Because I've certainly missed my fair share of good items. spawn near me we would have heard him <laughs> how did you poison me behind the fucking wall dude
cringe. Ooh, lockpicks, let's go. A rare one 70, 72 cheapest. Yeah, the, the thing is like, how much is a one that has a 4% reduction? Or is that like a pretty much norm on them? But yeah, that, that much space for 70 gold is criminal. Shield three. This is this is more expensive than the Pavis, I think. Ooh, found a trap. Nice. Wait, isn't there like a? Just. Yeah, garbage. Why is this purple? What the fuck? The value of that is atrocious. I'm pretty sure this kettle hat is better than these dashing boots, but... Upgrade our bow by one percent. Huge. Is that that? Yep. I hate this guy. Oh shit, I, I thought it was a... Six thirty nine armor, Norman nasal, Boom. 
Damn. Pretty sure this is gonna open up any second now, so we're just gonna leave. Yep. Nice. We minimax the fuck out of that. <laughs> Try to make some money. Okay, collector. I mean, that's kind of worth it. Yeah. Look at that, two fifty. Ah, oh, shit. We ran out of... We ran out of pouches. I wish I could have more 1,000 gold pouches. Not having them feel so sad. Yep. Whoa, resourceful plus one all attributes. That's what he gave me? Holy shit. It's actually kind of good. I probably don't want to carry it because I have garbage layout. Why are all of these potions different? Yeah, I, I want to do that as well. I want to put one inventory page just coin. But I need to buy another space. You'll get that. I just have to sell something. Heater shield for max health. Is that worth anything? I'm not really gonna even check now, it doesn't really matter. Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, these are kinda expensive, man. Four max health is two fifty. And mine has a projectile damage reduction. Projectile damage reduction for health. That's some similar. So near three hundred. Also, how the fuck are these epic? Like they have nothing. Two max health, one agility. This is like the worst roll you can imagine. I guess they have MR, 21 armor, 25 MR. But these are so fucking shit, it's unreal. I mean, if I wanted, I could get, like, a very good loadout, you know. With this ring, buy something and try to go, like, all out. But I'm still exploring. What's the matter, Targon? Hello, shot man. How you doing? Whole shit almost four years. How are you doing, brother? Holy shit. Almost four. Thank you for 47 months, man. 
Welcome back. Welcome back, brother. Really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This league update kind of dope. I, yep. Honestly, makes the game a lot better. I see your footsteps. And footsteps do not lie. What if he walks backwards? What if he goes like this? What are the footsteps gonna look like? Can you walk backwards? Paint me a picture. Okay, he's actually leaving them backwards. Interesting. Also, if I had better weapons, this would be kind of crazy. Yet some. Also, did you realize that we won 18 LP for both games and I lost 21? Holy shit. That's a massive difference. I'm gonna have to be perma winning to climb. I do have crazy good win rate, but... Why are they making me do that? Yeah, there's a lever here, but... Actually, maybe we should go that way. Yeah, th doesn't the secret place just lead to the same exact place? Like, am I crazy? Three knowledge, ten armor. That might be all right for that weapon. Oh, okay, these are kind of good for me. 11 move speed. I love the reg doll. Another one. And it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop coming and it don't stop. I hear a spider. Don't I have a quest for that? Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this area. This area is nasty, confusing, and impossible to kite people here. I'm betting I'm gonna hear them before uh, they push me, because... 
I don't want to fight there. tank yeah I remember this place there's a centipede over there I hate that guy. this guy he never pays off with the loot man never worth it up there am i like alone in these dungeons i never hear anyone or is everyone just playing super fucking safe How is it possible not to hear anyone? And the worst part is I have extra hearing senses. I'm hoping somebody goes in, kills this guy, starts saluting him, I headshot him, and then we go, go crazy, you know? That's kind of the play. Isn't there two goblins here? Oh yeah, potions. anymore not anymore nah I'm alone in this dungeon I swear like what the fuck I'm alone in every dungeon did he, got, did he aggro? that guy aggroed Oh, 
He didn't even back. Okay. He could have fucked up my trap there. Nobody looted this area. Like, what? How is that real? I legit thought this area spawn is like guaranteed. Now I'm telling you, nobody wants to play. Everyone is so afraid of long range shit. Was that all attributes that I see? Yep. Okay. Yeah, I'm not good enough to beat enemies 1v3. I cannot go on the crypt. Is this good? 2 physical damage reduction and 4 vigor. I feel like somebody might pay for that. See a big chest over there. At the end of this segment... There's an escape portal. Or like a static escape. Okay, I actually hear somebody. I guess I can run to that one in case I need to. Yeah, there's just nobody anywhere. Nobody in this dungeon. I'm telling you, nobody in the dungeon. And the worst part is like, as soon as I would shoot these guys to fight them, a random rogue would appear behind me. Oh, I feel like that can sell as well.
Four vigor, three strength, move speed. I feel like that can sit. Okay, we got full full layout. We're kind of loaded. Let's see if we can make some money with this. Let's get out of here. Continue spectating. Yeah, there's nobody in the dungeon. I'm telling you. I was alone the entire fucking time. A big one. Yeah? No? Stiletto, Castion. Dude, we need 300 gold. 300 gold. Okay. So, plate pants with plus all rare. Cool. Let's see. Plate pants. Rare plus one all in agility. What? They're 50! Are you kidding me, man? There's two trillion of them. I still haven't seen agility. Plus two all. 115 plus two all. Yikes. Okay, buckler 23 plus 12. Buckler 23 plus 12. Ooh, 23 plus 10. Look, 300. Holy shit. Every buckler is just expensive. No matter what. Okay, 297. It's a fair price for a buckler, right, guys? Rugged boots plus three strength, three move, seven move speed. Don't know how good of a roll that is. Rugged boots. Strength, let's see. 3 strength is like 50, 60, but move speed bonus is a little bit more. But move speed bonus with strength should be even more. Right? Right, guys? Oh, this one's good. 3 additional move speed, move speed bonus. Armor, move speed, move speed, physical, 3 will. Strength move speed 450, but his are better. So I'm gonna put it at 299. And Vigor 2 PDR reinforced. How good is this? Boom, 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 boom. 2, two PDR 170. Okay, I mean, not terrible, right? I want to check the shadow mask just in case. Shadow mask. The fuck did he have? Knowledge, right? Plus three knowledge rule. 130. I don't think armor rating is very good for this, though, is it? It's all right. Armor rating. Yeah, I don't see armor rating knowledge combo. Yeah, two knowledge, nine armor rating, two nine nine. It could be worth something. We'll see. Let's go to this guy. Sell this garbage. Damn, one hundred and ten on these trinkets. We need one hundred and ten more gold. Holy shit, one hundred and ten more, and uh, we can buy a new stash finally. Because my stash is a bit overflowing. 
It's a little bit overflowing here. Yeah, looking good. Got some lock picks, got some traps. I'm hoping somebody buys something. Please, guys, bum a shit. Whoa, that spellbook. Yeah, I probably have to take off some of this garbage. Okay. Let's go. One more run uh, in the trinkets. We should be good. Honestly, 39 damage with this is not, not that terrible. I think my build slightly uh, improved. If I can get like better chest and pants that don't slow me down, this can go hard. I still haven't used the chase ability at all. I played two runs without hearing or seeing anyone i think the servers are burning up right is that what's going on yeah i'm a dark and darker enjoyer this game is really fun yeah there's like three four people per dungeon I got four traps, provided I can uh, play them all well. I shouldn't be able to die, right? I got the trappies. My damage kind of garbo, though. Oh, well, we can go for a centipede kill if you want here. I hate these ones. If they get close, you're just doomed. Beetle wings. Here's some. Is that an enemy there? No. Oh, that's an item. Also, I don't know why I don't carry a pouch. Ah, shit. Thought I might have improved something finally. this physical damage bonus reduction how good is this champion armor does that sell i don't know i have too many garbage items that i can't really sell 
I'm not convinced that's gonna fly. I really like the luck stat, but can't go for it here. Makes me a lot tank here. Vigor and armor. Ah, uh, okay. Kind of decent knowledge ring. Not for me, but it's decent. White bow, come on. What's the game about? Going into dungeons and getting a loot. Fighting other players. You're fighting monsters and other players. True physical damage too, okay. Holy shit, that's some good loot. Okay, spellbook cell, I know that much. With magic pen and extra magic damage, that shit's minimum 200. I think that's minimum 200. Come on. I don't want to kill spiders. I hear an enemy here? No? Hundred cheapest on the champion armor. I mean, three percent physical damage arc sounds good unless it's mandatory on that item. Then it's probably garbage. We'll see.
don't think anyone uses double axe. Three additional move speed, four strength. Honestly, I got really good loot. I kind of want to get out, but I also want to kill somebody. It's another empty dungeon. The spell book is pretty good. Selling this goes hard. I have two AP rings. You're a wizard, Harry. Okay, this is bad. The zone is so far away. And I have to enter someone else's territory. Means, if he's here, I die. Because he's evading somewhere. I should see the footsteps though. Guessing if he was near. It would have walked a little bit and I just waited in a in one place. There's a chance he left, but I'm not gonna bet on that. I guess we have to go into the big room and I don't want to really. I think I can assume the guy left, but I'm guessing he got a blue portal. Oh shit, that's a quest. Oh my god, okay. That's very fucking good. Recur with plus 3 damage, 35. I don't know how good 35 number is, but... Yeah, I don't think the static is taken. Strengths probably a bit better. Oh, 
somebody's there. Killing skeletons. Wait a second. Shit, man. <laughs> Get stuck, bastard. He was very well looted, this guy. Holy shit. I don't think I have enough, da enough damage for this guy. Second win sprint. I would not have enough damage to kill him. He's got so much resistance. Yeah, fuck you, bastard. I never got to place my traps on time, so I, I don't stand a the chance there. Even with a trap? I don't know if I can beat him. Okay, guys. The moment of truth. Buckler is gone. You know what that means? We have 10,000. Boom. And now I'm broke. Now I'm giga broke. <laughs> nice. Oh, this spellbook is so good, man. It's one of these. Okay, let's let's check the spellbook. This spellbook rare is gonna be expensive. Wait, sixty? What the fuck? There was spellbook inflation earlier. They were so expensive. Okay, what do we have? Magic penetration. What? Okay, this... Why is this spell with garbage? Magic damage bonus with pen. Yeah, I thought it was going to be better. I just put it as 115, whatever. The bow that I got is kind of insane, though. I, I would have... I would hate to lose that. Like, recurve 35 plus 3. Let me check, actually. Let's see how, how good that is. Thirty-five plus one. Let's go by price. Thirty-six to Yeah, they're they're putting them up for like one thousand. These are insane. I don't think mine is worth 1k. But it is pretty good. I definitely like it though. Okay, let's see. Let's organize this shit a little bit. So you put the stuff we want to sell there. Some backup weaponry over there. Okay, cool. Lockpick so that there's a goblet. God damn it, Harry. 
He put his name in the goblet of fire, guys. Honestly, we slowly equip this uh, ranger that it's kind of worth to invest in better gear. Like buying this and this and then using better rings. Because these rings are good but not good for me. We gotta do this. This is the only option. Yeah, Druid has been announced for such a long time, right? They still haven't done it. But yeah, Warlock when he came out was pretty fucking cool, so... I expect good things. I am so broke. 240. That's all we got. Is there a way to do this faster? No? God damn. ASMR with the gold pouches that are empty, guys. I just want money in like the third tab, you know? Third tab is gonna be for money and maybe like some extra super valuable shit. That is just there to like be admired. Whew, almost done. Such beautiful organization. You know, now we have money there. This I gotta fix a little bit. This we gotta fix. I have too much silver. Treasurer, get me out of here. Convert this shitty silver. Okay, that's not bad. Or shrink to true physical. Okay, for shrink to true physical. Strength additional move speed. This is fucking insane. Oh, I don't have money. I wanted to buy other gear. Like, but I'm kind of broke now. I'm kind of broke ass. Maybe then keep the green one. Do, do, do. Yeah, I just have to like buy this, 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 and another windless. This one is good with 50, but yeah. 
Hello, Jacko. Yeah, honestly, this build is kind of strong now, but I I don't want to go in without better shit. Epic Windless 58, 59, 60, 61. 61 damage. Okay. I will equip this bastard. Well... We're broke. Oh, never mind. Something sold. Something sold. We are not broke anymore. Spellbook gave us 115. Awesome. We're surviving on breadcrumbs right now. And the game crashed. Okay. Time for bed. <laughs> Couldn't have sold the spellbook. My bad. My bad video game. At least it didn't crash in game. <laughs> Well, yep, Unreal Process has crashed. Close. It is an addicting game, that's for fucking sure. Well, time to take a break. Chat, it's been awesome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the stream. I'll be seeing you all tomorrow in the next one. So yeah, I will be streaming Elder Ring as soon as the DLC comes out. For sure. Chat, I love you, appreciate you, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye and good night everyone, get some rest.